Hey buddy, in today's video I want to show you my mushroom hunting trip to Virginia. Virginia is for lovers, but it's also for mushrooms and apparently emo ponies. So as you may know, I was living and traveling out of my Forerunner. I use this Jackery solar panel and battery as my electricity source. It works pretty well, but I'll upgrade to the bigger one next time because I already had to constantly worry about power. I wasn't feeling well one day, so I decided to rent a yurt for a couple nights. That's the worst thing about living in your car is when you don't feel good. This is one of the first mushrooms I found around the yurt. It's some kind of bolete that's being parasitized by another fungi. The white layer on top is a parasite. The parasites are always my favorite, which explains some of my ex-boyfriends. Oh no, she did! Speaking of parasites, I was super excited to find this Ophiocordyceps variabilis. This is a fungi that grows on insects. I usually spot the orange part sticking up through the bark, and then I chip away at the bark to reveal the insect it's growing on. Nature is so metal. The black cord looking thing is actually mushroom mycelium of the honey mushroom. It has a layer of melanin that protects it from the sun. Here's a cordyceps militaris grown on an insect. I like to grow these at home, so I um, take them home and collect the spores. Lactarius is one of my favorite genuses. They produce a milky white -like latex when damaged. Everything reminds me of my ex-boyfriends, apparently. I really wish I took a sample of this one because some of the experts I asked didn't know what it was. It might be Lactarius pecii, but that one doesn't have the little potholes that you can see here. So that's why I really want a PCR. Um, there's so many undiscovered fungi and not enough money goes into mycology to study stuff like this. So maybe someday I could discover a new fungi. The bike trails here are so magical. I had to stop every five seconds because I saw cool mushrooms everywhere though. This is a big old bolete. I'm not sure what species, but boletes always have these little tubes where they keep their spores. Calistoma is another really cool genus. It starts off like a little blob and it grows up to look like this. It usually splooges out some spores, but I guess this one was all splooged out. Here I am working on some macro photography off the bike trail. Oops, you gotta see my OnlyFans to see that one, buddy. I put together this little bunch. I'm not sure what all of them are, but the guy in front is a parasitic fungi that grows on bugs called Cordyceps tunipsis. There's also Chlorosaboria in the back and there's bird's nest fungi. really cool they have wild ponies here. Some of these ponies were so dramatic and emo. Because tonight will be the night that I will fall for you over again. I love the blue fungi. This one is Chlorosaboria. I usually find just the mycelium and the fruiting bodies seem more rare. The mycelium stains the wood blue like this. It's so beautiful and some people make jewelry with it. Slime molds are super weird and tiny. They are a little different than mushrooms because they can kind of go around and hunt for their food and move around and feed on bacteria and spores. I hope to get better at macro photography so I can capture these creatures better. 
So that's my Virginia trip. Hope to see you in the next one. Please like and subscribe. Love you. Bye.